All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NFL Week 11 AFC North Showdown between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. It's been a defensive battle between the two top defenses. Mighty Doug Van Heim checking in. I am your host of this video. Tied 10-10. Browns got the ball back with 3.29 to go. Browns were leading 10-7 at halftime. It shows you the proof. Both defenses have been balling out. Miles Garrett had two sacks today. T.J. Watt got one. Somebody has called timeout. So ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed the earlier video. NHL Global Series 2023 in Sweden. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Get a overtime win as William Nyland, right ring of the Maple Leafs, scores it. Unfortunately for the Wild, they will go 0-2 in the Global Series this season. Unfortunately, they lost to the Senators yesterday. And you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And they lost to the Senators in a shootout. Here's the throw. Oh, Kareem Hunt not going to get much. He is not going to get much at all. Clock is winding down. It's second down for the Browns. Now, last time these two teams had played each other was on Monday Night Football. The Pittsburgh Steelers ended up winning that game in a defensive battle, 26-22. Unfortunately, no, that will be the game when Nick Chubb came out with an injury and his season was over. Here's a snap. They got to run it with Hunt. Kareem, oh, he freaking, oh, oh, wow. He just leaped over a guy. Oh, my God, Kareem Dream the Hunt. Oh, I should say, Kareem the Dream Hunt just leaped over a guy. He just leaped over him. Watch this. He just, whoo, right over him. Oh, There's a drop by Noku. Chicago Bears surprisingly leading the Detroit Lions 26 to 21. Chicago Bears defense picked off Jared Goff three times. Yeah, I'm not joking with you. Jared Goff has thrown three interceptions. And here we go, second down and ten. And here we go. Commanders of Redskins, Giants in a tight one. Look out, and there's a throw, and it is caught by Jagoku. As time is winding down towards the two-minute warning, game tied 10-10. Browns are in no rush. They're trying to get downfield, score a game-winning field goal at least. Heck, I've done videos with the Browns. They beat the 49ers. They've beaten the Ravens. I've done a video on the Steelers, and unfortunately for them, when I did that video for the Steelers, they lost to the uh, San Francisco 49ers. Well, man, it's been crazy season. Browns trying to improve to 7-3. and three. Steelers trying to improve to 7-3. and three. Both defenses have been great, like I said. I mean, it's been unreal. And for the Browns, they're trying to... Beat the Steelers at home, get revenge on them. What? 10 10? Jeez. That's a defensive battle right there. But also, to us, hope you guys enjoyed Tuesday's video between Michigan State Spartans and the Duke Blue Devils. Duke ended up winning that game, bouncing back after a loss to Arizona Wildcats. And then, hope you guys enjoyed Washington Huskies taking on the Oregon State Beavers. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Washington Huskies improved to 11-0 and clinch a Pac-12 championship spot. Also, I did a video today in the afternoon. The Maryland Terps taking on the Syracuse Orange College Women's Basketball. Oh, man, what a game that was. It's crazy. Syracuse was down by two. Maryland stepped up 
and got the steal to win the game. Syracuse was trying to tie the game, or well, also trying to win the game too. Like I said, they're down by two, and that was just a crazy back and forth game. A lot of lead changes. It was nuts. So, like I said, you haven't seen that video? Go check it out. Also, in the NFL this past Thursday night, unfortunately, uh, Joe Burrow is out for the season as well. Um, the Ravens defeated the Bengals 34 to 20. Well, hey, you know, I hope Joe Burrow gets back and better. Unfortunately for the Browns starting QB, Deshaun Watson, he's out for the remainder of the season with a shoulder injury. But, hey, you got to give him credit. You know, unfortunately he did, you know, you got to give him credit for last week helping the Browns get down the field and score a game-winning field goal. And also, the Browns' defense stepped up big on that game against the Ravens as well. So, 8-3 and three is the Ravens. I know they got a bye week coming up. Here comes the Browns. And, oh, tipped and incomplete off the hands. And it's fourth down. They're going to have to punt it. Oh, man, David Jacoku. Oh man, Packers leading the Chargers 23-20. to Oh boy, that game I thought was going to be a little bit, not that close of a game. So here we go, 156 to go, Steelers get the ball back. And he's going to return it. He's looking for some room. Look out! And it's about inside the 30. So 142 to go. We got some score updates. Jacksonville Jaguars defeat the Tennessee Titans in a 34-14 bounce back win after the Jaguars got crushed 34-3 last week against the San Francisco 49ers. Lions look like they're about to get a game winning drive on. Giants leading by five against the Commanders of Redskins. Dolphins leading 20 to 13 over the Raiders with 2.16 to go. Here's Pickett back to throw. Oh, oh no, incomplete. Houston Texans improved to 6 and 4, beating the Arizona Cardinals 21 to 16. You know, for a young Texas team, they've been doing pretty good. Yeah, they had some heartbreaking losses. But let me tell you something, they, they're doing pretty good. Two minutes to go in the Packers-Chargers game. Three-point game for the Packers. Looking like the Chargers are on fourth down, so the Leafs are going to try and tie it. Here's Pickett. Back to throw. He looks going deep. And I mean, oh, nobody home. And it's third down. So the Houston Texans are, this is, now I got to say, it's the Houston Texans are surprising. They're six and four. They had a, they trade up for a defensive lineman. And DeMarco Ryan's doing a pretty good job as the Houston head coach. Cowboys crushing Panthers 33 to 10. That Panthers team definitely is young. They definitely need some time to rebuild. I don't think it's all Bryce Young's fault because his offensive line is terrible. He doesn't have freaking receivers. Here's Big Oh! Incomplete! And the Browns defense do their job of holding up. With 128 to go. But the Browns got two timeouts remaining. Ooh. So the Jaguars improved to 7 and 3 on the season. Oh, man. Now field position for the Browns. Here comes the Steelers. They're going to kick the punt. And... Oh, he's going to run. Look out. He's going to run, and he gets out of sideline. And with 118 to go. Oh, my God. First and 10 for the Browns. Next up, we got the New York Jets. 
taking on the Buffalo Bills rematch of week one. Also Seahawks Rams, which I'm surprising to see that on CBS. I thought we we're going to see the uh, um, something else. On, I thought we will see that on Fox, but I guess it depends on the stations. All right, here we go. Dorian Thompson Robinson. He has one interception in this game. The only touchdown that came on was a four touchdown. Running in, looking. Oh, a dangerous throw. Oh, Elijah Moore, what a freaking catch. Time winding down. And it's a minute to go. Here's the Browns, looking. Got a man. And Kareem Hunt gets a couple yards in the field goal range. So it's second now with 53 seconds to go. What a catch. Oh my God. Lions leading 29-26 over the Bears. Montgomery one yard rushing touchdown. Second and five. For the Browns. Steelers defense needs to step up big here. To send it into overtime. Here's the Browns. Comes in. Oh, what a catch. Oh, my God. First down, Browns. Timeout, Cleveland. With 48 seconds to go. They're trying to drive down the field. At least get a field goal. Wow. Two-minute warning. Looks like the Cowboys will wrap it up against the Panthers. Packers got the ball back. Is the Chargers try going for it, or did they miss it? Most likely they missed it. So, one timeout. Both teams got one timeout remaining. Steelers got one. Browns got one. Dolphins, Raiders. A good game on that one. 20-13. All right, 48 seconds to go. Browns trying to get a game-winning field goal just like they did against Baltimore last week. And I made a video on that last week and another first down, Browns. You got to be kidding me, man. You got to be freaking kidding me. Oh, my God. The time is winding down. Browns still driving. You got to be freaking kidding me. They're going to run. And Hunt will carry it. And it's second down. Oh my god. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Oh no. Cam Edward is down. Uh, I hope he's okay. That's not good. It's a timeout Browns with 19 seconds to go. Cameron Hayward. Yeah, I hope he's okay. College, Ohio State, and speaking about Ohio State, Thanksgiving weekend, they'll be taking on their Big Ten rival, Michigan. Will Ohio State get revenge after losing to Michigan back-to-back -back seasons for the first time since the 99-2000 and 99 season and 2000-2001 season? So are they going to get their kicker on already? Oh. So 20 seconds to go. Second and eight. Oh, here we go. So Steelers got one time on remaining. Using it to ice the kicker. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's going to move him back. A flag is down, so unfortunately for the Browns, that's going to move him back. So, first and 10. Oh, looks like the Chargers got the ball back. Oh! 
Oh my god. So a delay of game on the Steelers costs them a couple yards. So here we go. Browns better not screw this up. Or they'll take him and they're gonna run it. Hey, hey, clock is moving. Hey, clock is moving, Browns. And they spike it. Oh my god. With five seconds left. Here we go. Are we about to see this again? We saw this last week, ladies and gentlemen. And now for the Browns. Here we go with five seconds left. But the Steelers got one timeout remaining. The ice to kicker. Here we go. All right, Dustin Hopkins. He made a 40-yard game-winning field goal last week against the Ravens. Can he do it again? 34-yard attempt. Oh, 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 oh. So timeout. Pittsburgh. Mike Tomlin's thinking, okay, we're going to try and ice the kicker. 34-yard attempt. So will Patrick Peterson try and block the kick? That will be hilarious if he blocked the kick and got returned for the house. Or touchdown. We'll see a kicking score, which we never really seen on this channel. Why well, reacted? So here we go. With five seconds remaining. Thirty-four yard attempt for the Browns. And here we go. Here we go. Snap. Hole kick is up. And it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. But a flag is down. A flag is down. Who's it on? I think it's on on Pittsburgh. Oh, it's on the Steelers. Oh my God, the Browns have done it again. They have done it again. Browns in front, 13 to 10. This is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. The Browns have done it again. And this time they did it over their rival, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now for the Steelers, for the kickoff, they need a miracle. If they do, they need it now. Wow. Wow. Unfreaking believable. I mean, that kick is boom, up and good. Wow. The dog pound is going crazy. Kevin Stefanski's like, yes. And then the rookie quarterback, the sixth rounder out of UCLA, he's like, oh my God. In this defensive battle. And here we go. With two seconds to go, not much Steelers can do. Boom! And that's going to be a touchback. So the Steelers need a miracle with two seconds to go. As I said, they need it now. First and ten, Pittsburgh. Here comes Kenny Pickett. Trying to figure out a miracle lateral. Deshaun Watts on the sideline. Like I said, he's having a, he has a shoulder injury. Here we go. Browns defense going really back. Two seconds to go. Pickett takes the snap. Last gas for the Steelers. Oh, they flick it. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh, no. That is it. The Browns have done it again. 
with a game-winning field goal. And now they've defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers. Final score, Cleveland Browns 13, Pittsburgh Steelers 10. And we'll see on the next one. What a win for the Browns as they improve the 7-3. Mighty Ducks signing off. Peace.